Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Mac Whisperer Academy. I'm Dylan Stewart, they call me the Mac Whisperer. And if you're one of those people that is constantly texting or emailing yourself documents so that you have access to them on your phone, then this lesson was made just for you. The Files app is one of the unsung heroes of the Apple ecosystem. It is constantly overlooked and underutilized. But after today's video, you're gonna learn how powerful it really is and it's gonna change the way you use your phone. Because everything that you can do from the Finder on your computer, you can also do from the Files app right off your phone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up the Files app. And then I'm gonna show you how to get around on the app so you know where everything is. And then I'm gonna show you how to save things from other applications directly to the Files app and how to take things from the Files app into other applications. And if you stick around until the end of the episode, I'm gonna give you my power tips about how to properly sort and organize everything in the Files app and even a special bonus about how to scan anything directly into files right from your phone. Super simple, super valuable. So the first thing we need to get into is the proper setup. And for that, let's step over onto the computer. From here, I want you to go to your Apple menu and go into system settings. Click on your Apple ID up at the top here and find where it says iCloud and go ahead and click on it. From here, you're gonna find iCloud Drive and you wanna make sure that iCloud Drive is turned on to synchronize and that your desktop and documents folder are also enabled. Now, let's jump over to the phone. The Files app is a very simple app that looks like a blue folder. It's really been overlooked on most people's phones and they either have hidden it in a folder or put it on page 15 of their app screens. You can't find it, don't go crazy hunting for it. Just pull down from the center of your screen like this and go ahead and type in a couple of letters until it shows up at the top of your screen. Then you can just click on it and open it right up. The Files app is broken down into a couple of basic categories. First, on the far left, we've got the Recents tab. The Recents tab will show you any files that you've recently changed or edited on your computer or on your phone. Remember, if you've got the settings correct, your desktop and documents are already part of your phone. So this is where the most recent things you've saved and created will show up. Next to that, we've got the Shared section. The shared section is where you will find any documents or folders that you are collaborating with, with other Apple users. This isn't a section that most people are using very often. So if you don't see it at all, or you don't have very much in it, don't worry. I don't use it much myself, but if you are doing a lot of collaboration with Apple files like pages or numbers, this is where they're gonna show up. Now let's step over to where we're gonna spend the majority of our time, the browse section. You may not see this screen when you click on the Browse section. You may be in another screen like this. Just click the back arrow in the top left corner until you can see all of these items like the locations, favorites, and tags. At the top, you're gonna to see a search bar that you can use to find pretty much any document. Simply click into it, type a couple of letters, and it'll pull up those files right off your desktop, your documents, or your other locations. Below that, you're gonna see the location settings, and this is super important. The default setting will have iCloud here, but if you use Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive, and you have those apps installed on your phone, you can add them to your location section by clicking the three dots in the upper right corner here and clicking Edit. You'll notice they have a little switch to the right if they've already been added to your phone simply clicking on them will add them to the location section. And you can also use the three lines on the side to reorganize or move things around so it's as effective and helpful for you as possible. 
and click the Done button in the upper right corner like this. And now you have access to not just iCloud, but Dropbox, Google Drive, and other cloud storage solutions. Down below that, you're going to see your favorite section, which we'll get to in just a moment. But underneath that, we've got our Tags section. If you're not using Tags, you can just hide this by clicking the arrow here. But if you're already using Tags on your computer or your iPad, this is a really helpful way to easily sort, categorize, and find your files. So if I click on my Julie tag, I'll see all the files that have that tag. Or if I come to my TMA tag, I'll see all of those files easily and quickly. Again, if you're not using tags yet, you may want to start, but you may want to hide this until you do so it doesn't get in the way. Now let's talk about the favorites section. One of the problems with the phone as opposed to using the finder is I've just got this little screen and I'm using my finger, not a mouse, not a keyboard to manage things. So if there's a folder that I need to get to that is several folders deep, it can become very problematic to constantly have to go to it. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go into iCloud Drive. Let's go into my desktop. Let's go into my YouTube folder, into my AI Pix folder here, into my Discord files, and then into my Freeform folder. I really use that Freeform folder all the time. So to have it all the way out there is going to be a little hard for me. No problem. All you have to do is press and hold on any folder that you want easy access to. And from the drop down list, select where it says favorite right here. Now, when I go back to the browse section, there's Freeform right there under my favorites. I'm going to add one other folder that I recommend you all add which is coming into the iCloud Drive, and go ahead and favorite your desktop. The other thing you're going to be aware of in this section is these little cloud icons that you may see to the right side. That means that that file is located in the cloud, not on your phone, which doesn't really matter if you have internet. But if you're about to get on a plane or go off the grid and you want to make sure you have access to some of your most important files, press and hold on them and at the top, choose Download Now. That will drop it onto your phone. It will take up some space on your phone, but will make sure that if you don't have an internet connection, you can still get access to everything you need. So those are the basics about how to get around on the app and how to find what you're looking for. Now let's talk about taking something from another application and saving it into files. First, we're going to talk about email. I'm going to go ahead and go into my mail program here, and I've got this email open right here that has a receipt that I need to save into my finance folder on my files app. I'm going to press and hold on the attachment and scroll down and you're going to see save to files is right there. So it's easy for me to click it. But before we do that, I'd like to show you another way that you can also save files directly into the Files app. It's very simple. Just tap on any attachment, and when it comes up full screen in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to see your Share icon. Clicking on that Share icon will bring up our Share menu, and right there you'll see Save to Files. When you first click it, it's going to open up whatever the last folder you used was, and you can come right in and locate the folder you want that document to be saved in and click the Save button in the upper right corner and it will put it right into that file. Now let's talk about how you can do this from the text message app. Let's swipe up. Let's go into Messages. I'm going to go right into this conversation here and I'd like to save this picture into my Files app. And you might say, Dylan, just click that little download arrow to the right. But you see, if you do that, it's going to go into your photos library. And in this case, I don't really want that picture there. I just want to save it so that I can access it later from the Files app. I'm just going to tap on it so it opens up full screen. And then in the lower left corner, I can click on that share icon right there and just scroll up and save it right to files from here as well. So that's how you save things from different apps into the Files app. Now let's talk about taking something out of files and bringing it into another application. For this example, let's go back to mail. And I'm going to start a new email by clicking my new mail button at the bottom right corner here. And I'm going to click in the body of the message. Right above the keyboard, you're going to notice this little arrow. 
Tapping it will open up an entire layer of tools that you can use for all sorts of things. I'll bet you didn't even know it was there. And on the far right side, you're going to notice your Files button. Clicking that will immediately open up the Files app where you can pick anything that you want to attach to that email and it will just attach it, just like it would do if you were on your computer makes it really easy. You can even share files from the Files app to all sorts of other applications easily. Simply open up the Files app, find what you want to send, and press and hold on it. Down at the bottom, you'll see a Share option. Click it, and it will open up your Share screen so that you can text it, email it, add it to notes, put it in reminders, whatever you want to do with that particular file. There's even one more way that you can easily take things from the Files app into other applications, but it does require two hands. Go ahead and go into the Files app, press and hold on the document you want, and start to move it so that you've grabbed it. Keep your finger on the screen, use your other hand to swipe up, go to whatever application you want it in, and drag that document right into the section you want it to be added to, and then let go. It'll take a moment, and then it'll attach it. So those are the basics of how to get around on the Files app. Before I step into my pro-level tips, if you're getting value from this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It makes it so much easier for other people to find this video and get value from it as well. And while you're there, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, take a moment, hit that subscribe button and that notify bell so you're always alerted whenever I drop new content. And with that being said, let's get into the pro tips. The first tip that I want to talk to you about is how to sort, organize, and view the files within the Files app. First, go up to the upper right-hand corner and click on those three dots, and you'll notice that you can either view it by list, which is how I've got it, or by icon. Icon makes it a little bit easier to see everything. It keeps it a little bit more separated. So you pick what works best for you. In a big folder, I'm going to use the list, but in a small folder, I find it pretty easy to use the icons. In addition to that, also under the three dots, you're going to notice the ability to sort things by name, by kind, by date, by size, or by tags. This is super helpful and it's just like what you can do on the Finder when you're trying to easily organize your files. I like to keep it set by date because this means the most recent stuff is always up at the top of my list, which means I don't have to use that recent tab very often. But you may want it by name so that it's alphabetical. Or you may want it by kind so it keeps the folders separate from the PDFs and the documents. However you like to sort and organize your files, go up to those three dots and just pick the way you like it. Don't forget you can always change it around at a later time. It's easy enough to do. And there's one other tool for filing and sorting under those three dots. Go ahead and click on them and it's hidden under View Options right here. Go ahead and open that up and you will see the ability to group items in different ways. What that means is instead of just having them alphabetical or organized by date, you can clump them together by kind, by date, by size, etc. so that in addition to them being organized one way, they're also collected in another way. I'm going to group this by kind, and you'll notice all the folders are there, but they're still organized by date. So as I scroll through things, my documents are the most recent one on top, but all the documents are together, and all the images are together. It's a really easy way to keep things organized, and it's right here under the View Options. Choose whichever way you want to organize it. And with all of those tips, you probably think I'm out of tricks. That's where you'd be wrong, because the Mac Whisperer's always got at least one more thing up his sleeve. And in this case, I want to talk about how to scan files directly into the Files app. If you're one of those people that is constantly scanning things on their phone, there's a number of ways that people do it. Some people just take pictures of things, but then it ends up in your photo library, which, let's be honest, is already a little over-cluttered and disorganized. Or maybe you open up the Notes app and scan them directly into Notes. That's not super effective either. 
Or maybe you've downloaded and purchased one of those third-party scanner apps. Some of them are expensive, and some of them even have a monthly subscription. With this trick, you're not going to need any of those tools because the reality is when you are scanning something with your phone, it's usually because you want access to it from your computer. And by using the Files app, you can drop it right on your desktop super easily. All you've got to do is hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner and click the Scan Documents button right there. Then position your camera over whatever you want to scan and hold it steady for a moment. It will automatically take the picture, and if you'd like, you can even do multiple pages just by repeating that until it scans it and adds it in. When you've completed all the scans you need, click the Save button in the lower right-hand corner like that, and it will put it into whatever folder you are in in the Files app. You can change the name at will, and you can even put it inside of another folder. By pressing and holding, you can drag things and move them into any folder you want so that it's easy for you to put it away and find it on your computer in a simple snap. So that's today's lesson all about the Files app. The trick to the Files app is once you learn how to properly utilize it, you have access to everything you need wherever you go. I'm Dylan Stewart. They call me the Mac Whisperer, and it's my passion and profession to help you get more done with your Apple products than you ever thought possible. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.